We're praise you, the Lord Warriors of God. Derek Lee here with Praying for America and time spent with the word. I am so loving this because in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God in the beginning. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. We beheld his glory, the glory of our father, the only begotten son of the most high. Father, we thank you this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise you and we bless you that we shall be wells springing forth of living water and the living water that is springing forth, Father God, shall be the Holy Ghost springing out of us through the mighty, powerful word of God because you say your word is sharper, my God, like a double-edged sword. It pierced the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. You said, oh God, that your word shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish the thing that you send it to do. I thank you, God, on this morning that the word says that we are healed. And so, Father, we choose to believe that we are healed. We walk in divine health from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. In the name of Jesus, our eyes are healed. Our mouths are healed. Our ears are healed. Our heads are healed. Our bodies are healed. God, hallelujah. God, our breasts are healed. Our chests are healed. Our bellies are healed. Our knees are healed. Our Longs are healed, God had a bakoto show ya. Our blood, so oh God, are healed. The white blood cells, oh God, is fighting the diseases as the red blood cells is producing the proper oxygen. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, ah, we stand on the word of God on today. Every lump, every fiber, God, reduce and disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every paralysis, Father God, I speak life right now in Jesus name and it seems as if God America is paralyzed ah, from evil God and so God about I speak life into America I bind paralysis my God across this land this land in Jesus name I bind paralysis in America's government and I lose life the life that comes from the Lord God where we fear the Lord we his saints and we exalt his name together as a people here in America because in God we trust in God we will always trust because we are a one nation under God and so shall it remain in Jesus Christ's name you know what that's a mouthful I think we can just stop right there but we can go out without speaking the word amen so the book of uh, Micah Micah chapter number six verse number eight through nine says the remnant left in Israel or Yeshayal and I would say the remnant left in America amen because there are still some of us here would take their place among the nations we would take our place among the nations and we're standing on that on this morning they will be like lion among the animals of the forest we will be like lion among the animals of the forest and what 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 the lions do they roar and lion even though the lion is not the strongest in the jungle my god but because of fori his ability my god to have power and authority it supersedes the strongest animals in the forest the elephant i believe is the strongest animals in the forest you don't read anywhere where he says be strong as elephants no he says be strong and bold as lions look at that thank you god and that's what we are because jesus christ is the lion of the tribe of judah you didn't hear about jesus christ being the elephant of the tribe of judah even though again the elephant is the strongest in the forest but jesus christ is the lion of the tribe of judah therefore guess what ha! We are the lion amongst the animals in the forest. And we are roaring. America, we are roaring for you. And the sound of our roaring are being heard across the land. And most importantly, heaven is hearing our roaring and heaven is coming, my God, to help us in this country. My Lord, help me on today. In Jesus' name, it says, 
like a strong young lion among flocks of sheep and goats. That's right, because we are among flocks of sheep and of goats. But he says we are like lions, young lions amongst flocks of sheep and goats. The time of separation is just about here. Mm. We will know who's on the Lord's side and who is not. This is so rich. Pouncing and tearing as they go. America, it's time for we, the lions, my God in this nation, to roar and pounce as we go. Let's start the pouncing and let's begin the roaring as we go because we have, we have, my God, taken enough from the wicked and we say to the wicked, your time is up in Jesus' name. Come on. With no uh, a rescuer in sight. That's right. They will have no rescuer in sight. I'm telling you. Now, verse 9 says, the people of Israel, of Yashael, or I would say the people of America, we, the lions, the remnant in America, will stand up, that's us, to their foes. We are standing up to the devil. We are standing up to this, the enemy face to face, looking at the enemy eyeball to eyeball. And we tell them, get the hell out of here and step my God in Jesus name. And don't come back, you foolish and stupid devil. Back off and back off for free. Take your filthy hands of America. Take your filthy hands of our places of work. Take your filthy hands of our churches. Take your filthy hands out of our pulpits. You have no place there. Take your filthy hands out of our children. Take your filthy, funky hands out of our schools in the name of Jesus Christ and get the stepping and don't come back in Jesus' name. Now, that's the power and the authority we have. We need to just start using that. I'm going to start roaring like lions. Go, my God, in the name of Jesus, roar. Roar, roar like the lion on today in the name of Jesus. I practice on my roaring even better. Thank you, God. Now it says, the people of Israel or of, of Yashael or America will stand up to their foes. We're standing up to the, the wicked in this place. And he says, and all their enemies will be wiped out. It's time to wipe them out. Just like he did with it with uh, Egypt. With the children of Israel in Egypt, just like he did with Pharaoh, it is wiping out time. Let, let's pray. My God, I say it is wiping out time. I decree and declare it. I speak the word of God. It is wiping out time. Come on, warriors of God. It's time to wipe out in Jesus' name. Now, Father, I thank you. I praise you and I bless you. God, we go throughout this land and we wipe out evil and wickedness and all of the, the pretentious smiles and happiness that they appear to be. Father God, we wipe that fake smile off their faces. We wipe that fake laughter off their faces, God. We wipe, my God, in the name of Jesus, all their evil and pretentious act. We wipe it out and we wipe them out out of our nation. We wipe them out out of our government. We wipe them out out of our schools. We wipe them out out of our jobs. Mm. We wipe them out out of our churches. We wipe them out out of our pews. We wipe them out out of our pulpits. We wipe them out out of our hospitals. We wipe our foes. We wipe our enemies out. And we roll like the lion in the forest. We roar because the lion of the tribe of Judah is making his biggest sounding roar and pouncing. And we are in him. We live in him. We move in him. We have our being in him, Jesus Christ, yes, Yesiah. And therefore we are roaring as he rolls. In Jesus' name, warriors of God, go out and roar today like the mighty powerful lion that we are. Because the greater lion is on the inside of us. As he's roaring, we roar with him. Until the next time.